This part covers the uh, solution to problem 3. Okay, so problem 3 is on small signal modeling and using the small signal model deriving a given uh, transfer function. Okay, so for drawing any small signal model, we actually need to solve the um, the steady, sta steady state um, switching circuit or the full average circuit to determine the uh, voltage port, uh, voltage magnitude and the current port current magnitude which is needed in the um, small signal model uh, as well as the, the D which um, actually is not given in this problem it, that needs to be calculated. So VVP, ICP and the uppercase D these three parameters together determine the, the operating condition under which the um, circuit is linearized to get the small signal model. So um, it is not required to draw the full average or the large signal average model but um, given that we have to draw the small signal model it may be useful to draw the, the full average model so that uh, it becomes easier to just um, work from that to get the small signal model and also get these uh, required steady state values. So that's the approach I'm going to use. I will draw the um, large signal or the full average model. Um, so it also has the transformer, just that this DD ratio is a time varying quantity. Um, and even before that, realize that this converter shown here is um, a boost like converter. Uh, what I mean by that is um, whenever the switch is on, the um, this node voltage or the midpoint of the um, switch and the diode is actually connected to the ground. Um, and only when the diode conducts, it gets connected to the positive of the voltage port. Uh, all other converters except the boost, it is just the opposite. Right. So that is why a boost and the boost like converters have a slightly different um, small signal as well as large signal model. Um, okay, so the turns ratio of the transformer for the boost like converters is 1 is to 1 minus D. Um, for all the other converters, it is 1 is to D. Okay, so here it is 1 is to 1 minus D. Or I can use lowercase D also. So this is the full average model. Okay, 1 is to 1 minus D. The voltage port side is always the turns 1 and the current port side is always the turns uh, D or 1 minus D, 1 minus D in this case. Okay, this is the uh, full model, so I should also put the DC source, which will eventually be shorted in the small signal model. But here it is the full 42 volts DC. Okay, that's the voltage port side. On the current port side, I have the resistance and the inductance, and also the ideal DC voltage source, 14 volts. This is 0.2 ohms and we are also given that under this operating condition the inductor current defined this way going left to right is 5 amperes. So that can also be shown in this average model. So IN is 5 amperes and just for later analysis the current in this branch is called as the I out. So we need the VVP. ICP and the operating duty ratio. Um, okay, so let me call this voltage here as um, V, say VA. Call this node as A, and the voltage across the 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 current port that will be V VA. In this case, it will be VAB bar because it's average model. Okay, so VA, VA bar from the transformer principle would be um, this voltage port voltage 42 times the turns ratio 1 minus D. So it will be 42, 1 minus, I will use uppercase D because I am calculating steady state quantities to be used in the small signal model later. Okay, so so that is one information, but this is also equal uh, to 
the real average is zero. Okay, therefore the voltage at this point uh, would be 14 minus the drop across the resistance. There is no drop across the inductance. Real average is zero. So drop across the resistance. Uh, so this is also 14 minus 0.2 ohms times the current through that is 5 amperes, which is um, 40 minus 1, 30 moles. So from that I can calculate 1 minus D to be 13 over 42, which is um, 0 0.31. or D to be um, 0.69. Okay, that is one information needed. Um, the other one is the voltage port. Voltage BVP is, this is the voltage port size. So this is um, given. So it's 42 volts. But I need ICP. ICP is the current going out of the node. In this case, uh, it is minus I n and I n is given as 5 amperes, it's actually minus 5. Okay, so now I can draw the small signal model. So that would be very similar to the large signal model. I have a transformer. This is shorted, and on the voltage board side, I will have an extra current source controlled current source and the 42 volts DC ideal DC voltage source would be a short circuit in the small signal AC model okay then the turns ratio is 1 is to 1 minus D which we saw uh, from our just the previous analysis uh, 1 minus D was 0.31 1 minus D Okay, then I have a voltage source, control voltage source. Okay, for all the other converters, it is uh, uh, it gets added gets added to the secondary. But in this case, for the boost, it is actually this way, um, and um, its magnitude is d tilde times the VVP or forty two. Okay, then we have the resistance and the inductance would be written as S times L, S times 100 micro and this R is uh, just 0.2 ohms. Okay, once again 14 volts an ideal DC voltage source that is shorted. And again since we are going to calculate IO, this will be written as IO tilde and uh, inductor current was defined this way, IN or IL let us I in tilde okay so this completes part A where we are required to draw only the small signal model part B is to derive the transfer function um, D to I O okay, or I O tilde divided by D tilde okay. so I O tilde is here and then okay I should also write the value of this one this is D tilde times I C P which is 5 okay. so just uh, look at the Bose converter small signal model and then just um, give the correct values for the different uh, parameters okay. especially this part the transformer and the control current source control voltage source is same for any boost or boost type uh, converters okay so I want this current here so I can write this current as sum of two separate currents. One is this current source, which is known, D, D tilde of phi. The other one um, will be called, this is I secondary. All in an AC sense, I secondary tilde. Okay, so I can get I secondary tilde. If we know what is this, I primary tilde, which is nothing but um, um, I in tilde. Okay, so this I in tilde is not same as the five amperes. That is just a DC value. Whereas I in tilde refers to the um, the small signal AC component, so I can calculate that by just doing um, a KVL around this loop here, uh, knowing that the V primary or this voltage here is actually zero. 
I know it's zero because the secondary is actually shorted even though we have a current source the winding itself is shorted by this short here representing 42 volts DC source so therefore the primary is also zero voltage or shorted um, therefore the current through that would be all this is um, I n tilde it's fine I n tilde is um, there's only one voltage source d tilde 42 divided by um, yes 100 micro written to the minus 6 um, plus 0.2 that is the primary current current entering the dot here so there will be a current leaving the dot so in the same direction that I have chosen so I secondary tilde would be 0 0.31 times times uh, I tilde is the turns ratio um, 1 over the turns ratio because we are transferring the currents um, so that would be okay, 42 times 0 0.31 is 13.02 13.02 divided by this SL plus R Okay, then uh, IO tilde is um, I secondary. Uh, so that is the, in the same direction as IO, whereas um, the this current source is flowing uh, in the opposite direction. Um, or just apply KCL at this node. IO tilde would be I secondary minus um, D tilde 5. Okay, so if you write this out, you will get I will tell the to be um, okay. I will write all the steps. Okay, D tilde thirteen point oh two divided by this is L plus R uh, minus D tilde five or I will tell the over D tilde would be this d tilde 13.02 minus I'm sorry there's no, no more d tilde here yes 13.02 minus um, okay 5 times uh, SL so S times uh, 500 minus 6 um, minus uh, 5 times the R, R is 0 0.2, so it's just minus 1. So this whole thing divided by the SLR, S times 100, 10 to the minus 6, plus 0 0.2. Okay. So we are almost there, we just need to um, simplify this to a standard form. So here we have a constant plus an S term. Here also we have a constant which is actually 13.02 minus 1 or 12.02 uh, and the S term. Okay, so when I simplify that I get um, I over tilde over D tilde to be this 12.02 uh, times 1 actually minus here. This is a uh, right of plane 0, 1 minus S are the things that we have here so this 12.02 so I need to divide this by 12.02 so 500 over 12.02 is 41.67 micro um, okay and on the denominator um, this point two can be taken out so it'll be 0 0.2 times 1 plus s over something is um, S times 500 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so you want to divide uh, 100 by 0 0.2 to get uh, 500. Um, you can simplify this further. 12 over 0 0.2 gives you actually 60. Um, this can be written as 1 minus S over uh, inverse of this 41.67 10 to the minus 6 which actually is a, a nice number 24,000. Uh, 
divided by the denominator is uh, 0.2 solid quadratic form so it be just um, 1 plus s over uh, 1 over 500 10 to the minus 6 which is again uh, a good number 2000 okay so that is the final answer